Daenerys payphone to call your parents to let them know, like, we got kidnapped, we've been in a hotel for three days, all this shit's going on, I get back to my mother's house, and as soon as I hit the door, she grabs me by my hair, she drags me to the floor, and she starts kicking me and kicking me and punching me and saying, you smell like sex. Yes, I smell like sex. I've been raped for three days by a grown fucking man. I'm 13 years old. Nobody has ever asked me what happened. When this is the kind of memory, a lot of girls have this memory, and it's not a stranger. It's not, sometimes it's your uncle. Sometimes it's your dad's friends, your mom's boyfriends. I guess people closest to you. You know what I mean? And and you can't tell anybody because everyone's going to fucking judge you and all this old shit. And then the next thing you know, you're 20 something years old. And the only way for you to take your power back is sexually because that's the way you lost it. And that's the part that no one wants to talk about is that when you see women who are sexually promiscuous, women who are sexually autonomous in such a way that it might be detrimental to their health and well-being and, and their emotional selves, a lot of that is based on sexual abuse and, and, and that we don't discuss, especially in the black community. It's not often discussed. But the first thing you guys want to do is call somebody a hoe and do all, but you don't haven't asked a question. So what I'm going to say to you today is to say, before you call somebody, no, listen, somebody, some people are just whores, right? Like actual whores, like who sell their body. But even those girls, you have to ask them a question. What happened? Every porn star, every prostitute, every, every, you know, emotionally unstable, physically loose girl has a story. And you've got to ask these girls, what happened? Who did this to you? Who made you feel like you? this is how you have to gain your power back for me? Girl